please visit TradingSim.com to simulate this trading lesson. Hey day traders out there, this is Al Hill from TradingSim.com. Today we're going to give a very quick lesson on um, actually using uh, uh, trend lines on indicators, right? So not only can you use trend lines on uh, the price action on the chart uh, for candlesticks, you can also use them on indicators. Uh, so if you look here in our example, we're looking at uh, ticker CIEN from June 24th, uh, and we're actually, sorry, June 23rd, uh, we're going to look at how you can have a tight trading range on the RSI um, and then use that as an indication of a breakout. So, again, for, 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 for trading ranges on RSI, we kind of talked about this in previous videos, you're going to want to make sure that you have some sort of historical um, trading uh, in terms of uh, the, 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 the price action of the RSI. You're going to make sure it does not really hit a lot of extremes uh, for at least three quarters of a day to one full trading day. Um, this will allow you to better um, determine when a breakout occurs, whether it has real juice behind it. So, in this example, for uh, CN, uh, Sienna rather, um, you have a top of the RSI range which starts here at this gap that failed so approximately right in here and as you can see this is nicely contained um, by a horizontal trend line across more than one day so you kind of start here this is a full day under under this uh, range this is almost uh, you know, basically a day and a half if you will and if you look here we have a bottom of the range uh, which is again pretty pretty tight as well. So and as you can see, price wasn't a lot of volatility. Stock just pretty much drifted in the direction of the primary trend. So had you drawn this uh, horizontal line here, when you saw this price move up, right, which is kind of tough to really look at in terms of trend lines, um, you can try to do it, but you know you kind of have this here. So because a lot of times folks will try to draw it over every line, but you want to take your primary peaks. So what you want to look for in this example, you want to see a breakout of the RSI, right, over this horizontal um, trend line that you've drawn here directly in the chart. That coincides with the breakout of price across a trend line driven, uh, 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 drawn across the price action. This, my friend, is what we call confluence, where you have more than one thing happening at the same time telling the same story. So you have the strength of the issue relative to itself now making a move. And, and this sort of action here is, is, is shown by the fact that the stock is making lower, excuse me, higher lows on each one of these little minor pullbacks, right? So that's how you can kind of know, hey, the strength of the, of the uh, security itself is improving but you also have it uh, coincide with a break of this trend line. And look at this. You would have gotten in around, uh, let's call it 14.10, and quickly rolled it up to approximately uh, 14.40. So not bad. Not bad at all. You, know, you look at approximately 10, uh, excuse me, 2%, and that would have occurred from 12.20 up to about uh, one ten. So you're looking at less than an hour. Two uh, percent. Key thing is with this, you don't want to get greedy, because like with any sort of major, uh, not major, but any sort of breakout over a consolidation range or a trading range that's been going on for days, you're always going to get that pullback nine times out of ten. So you don't want to get greedy, but it's an easy way to make money uh, without a lot of work, right? You're just looking for a break of a tight range on the RSI as well as a break within the range uh, on the price chart.